So in this lecture, we are going to discuss about uh, kernel of a homomorphism. So let us write the definition of kernel of homomorphism. So let phi be defined from G star to G dash star dash be a homomorphism then we define kernel of phi which is denoted by cur phi is the set of all those elements x in the group G such that image of those elements is equal to E dash. So this is the definition of kernel of a homomorphism. For example, in this picture you will understand. So this is I'm drawing G and G dash. And phi is a homomorphism between G to G dash. I'm going to collect all those elements in the set G. This set that I'm drawing is a subset of G. All those elements which map to identity of G dash, which map to E dash. So all such elements I'm going to collect together. Okay, and those elements, the collection of these elements is nothing but kernel of phi. So clearly we see that this kernel of phi is a subset of the domain. Who is the domain of the homomorphism? The domain of the homomorphism is phi. G is having operation star and G dash is having operation star dash. Okay, so clearly by definition itself, X is in G, right? So by definition, kernel of phi is a subset of what? It is a subset of G and G is a group. G star is a group. So this is how a kernel of a homomorphism is defined. Okay. Now what we will do is uh, we will uh, try to find the kernel of one homomorphism. Okay. Now, what is the kernel of this particular problem? So let us take one simple question so that you will get an idea of the kernel. So let us take uh, phi to be a function from a group. The first group is C star. Now we all know that C star is a group with respect to multiplication, complex numbers multiplication, non-zero complex numbers. And the codomain of the function is set of all positive real numbers and the set of positive real numbers is a group with respect to multiplication operation. Okay, and I'm going to define this phi as follows. Phi will take a complex number and it will map to the magnitude of that complex number. Okay, I mean to say that phi of z is equal to mod z. Okay, magnitude of z rather, right? So we know that magnitude of a complex number, uh, if the number is not zero, then the magnitude also will not be equal to zero. So I will take any complex number and I will map to its magnitude. Okay, then we want to show that first of all, this phi is a homomorphism. Okay. So this phi is 
homomorphism. That is our first target. And second target is that we want to find the kernel of phi. We want to find the kernel of phi. And not only we want to find, we know that kernel of phi will be a subset of complex numbers non zero. And we want to sketch also, we want to even sketch the kernel of phi. We want to geometrically see what is kernel of phi. So let us see how to solve this problem. Okay. So if I want to show that phi of z equal to mod z is homomorphism, then I have to show that phi of z star w is equal to phi of z star dash phi of w. Now what is star and star dash? If you look at the function carefully, the operation in the domain is star and the operation in the codomain which is this, this is our star dash. So both star and star dash are multiplication operations. Okay. So this means that we want to show that phi of z multiplied by w is equal to phi of z multiplied by phi of w. Okay. This is what we want to show. So I will start with the left hand side now. So what is the left hand side? The left hand side is phi of z dot w. What is phi of z dot w? Now what is phi of z equal to? The definition of phi of z is equal to mod z means ma means the magnitude of z. So this is, this is nothing but magnitude of z into multiplied by phi of w, which is magnitude of z multiplied by magnitude of w. So the left hand side and right hand side are actually the same. And therefore this phi becomes what? This phi is a homomorphism. By definition, okay. Now in the second part, we want to find kernel of phi. Okay, now how will I find the kernel of phi? So we will write the definition of kernel of phi. Okay, what is the definition of kernel of phi? Kernel of phi is the collection of all x which belong to G such that image of that x is equal to identity of the codomain. Now here our function phi is defined by what? It is defined from complex numbers, non-zero complex numbers with respect to multiplication to positive real numbers with respect to multiplication. Okay. And what is that function defined as? I am writing it again. Phi of z is equal to magnitude of z. Okay, now we will write the definition of kernel of phi in the notations of this phi. So kernel of phi is equal to set of all z belonging to the domain. This g is the domain of the kernel, right? So set of all z belonging to c star. What is the meaning of c star? C star means all non-zero complex numbers such that phi of z, I'm just replacing x by what? I'm replacing x by the complex number z is equal to e dash. Now what is e dash? e dash is the identity of the group which is in the, which is acting as a codomain. Now here in our function, the group in the codomain is r plus with respect to multiplication. So who is the identity of R plus? Who is the identity of real num positive real numbers with respect to the operation 
multiplication now that e dash we know that identity is 1 right so 1 acts as an identity of positive real numbers with respect to the operation multiplication okay so this is this is our kernel of five now we have to simplify this set and actually find out what elements are in the kernel of five remember kernel of five is a subset of what kernel of five is a subset of the domain kernel of five is a subset of c star okay so uh, which is equal to the part that i can simplify is this part okay this the left hand side part z belongs to c star that i cannot simplify so that i will keep as it is so it is a set of all z belonging to the complex numbers c star such that magnitude of z is equal to how much magnitude of z is equal to one okay now we all know what is meaning of magnitude of z so if z is a complex number which is of the form x plus i y then all of us know what is meaning of magnitude of z so this is z belonging z which is equal to x plus i y this complex number i'm writing in the form of what x plus i y belonging to c star means x and y are not zero okay the complex number is non zero okay means x is also not equal to zero and y is also not equal to zero okay both should not be zero okay let so let me write and here x and y both are not equal to zero one of them can be zero okay so mod z what is uh, what is magnitude of z magnitude of the complex number x plus i y is nothing but square root of x square plus y square is equal to how much it's equal to one and now this is nothing but set of all those complex numbers which are of the form x plus i y such that this x this square root i will shift on the right hand side and that will become what x square plus y square will be finally equal to how much it will be equal to one and what is this set x square plus y square equal to one the set of all complex numbers satisfying this property this is actually a circle of radius one this is the radius correct this is r square and the center is how much the center is zero because we know that circle is of the form x minus a square plus y minus b square equal to r square so the center is how much the center is a comma b or in the complex form the center is how much the center is a plus i b okay and radius is how much the radius is r correct so this is the circle so finally who is this this is kernel of phi so this eventually means that this answer of the second part is actually over here we have found out the kernel of the homomorphism okay and that kernel of homomorphism is described by this set okay and now the third part comes we will sketch the kernel of phi so what is the so how will i describe it it is a unit circle in complex numbers non-zero complex numbers okay with center what is the center with center zero zero and radius zero zero means i mean to say zero plus i is zero okay and radius is how much and radius equal to one okay so if i want to draw the diagram now i can show you the diagram so this i will uh, i will draw the complex number c i will draw the plane c star so i have to omit the origin so i'm omitting the origin and this set is nothing but what this set is c star so this is our domain and phi is going from c star to r plus in r plus i'm going to omit the zero so this is positive real axis okay this is positive real axis here you have one here you have one which is the e dash which is the identity of r plus okay so this now i will draw a circle and uh, that circle will nothing be but uh, but what it will be a 
the kernel of our uh, homomorphism which i'm drawing like this so this is our this this circle is nothing but our kernel so this let me write here kernel phi okay so that is what is the equation of that circle the equation of that circle is in the complex numbers we write the equation of the circle as mod z equal to 1 which is a circle of center 0 and radius 1 okay